Hi, welcome to Polyphonic Press. I'm Jeremy Boyd. I'm John Van Dyke. And today we're going to be talking about the decline of live music. Here we go. All right, so we found this article that basically talked about how um, live music is becoming less important in the theater world, and it sort of seems to be going that way in the pop music world as well. Um, it's certainly something that we've noticed. Uh, you can look at uh, any artist. It really started, I guess, back in the early 90s with st stuff like Millie Vanilli and, uh, <laughs> well, you know, um, uh, stuff like that where they weren't singing live they were just lip syncing and they had other uh singers on the recording uh and they were just the front of the of the band and you know they weren't the only ones doing that they were just the only ones that got caught and uh but now it's even more so because they you know they don't hire musicians they they with auto tune you can make a bad singer sound good and it's used in a lot more places than you think it is. Um, and uh, I mean, that's it's been used like in a creative way, but the, that's its purpose is is to make the singer sound good. And they, they can even do it live now. So, um, you know, live music, going to see a live band is something that I'm always interested in, but it seems to be the public is becoming less interested in. And, um, it's kind of unfortunate in a way because uh, it, I always like seeing people play music and uh, I don't mind hearing the mistakes because that's what makes it human. Human. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, uh, the article was talking about how it's a, a really big problem in in the uh, in the theater mm -hmm. and uh, and other productions like that. And I can see it being a really big problem in that because when people go to see a show, a lot of people. Okay, there are, there is still a segment of the people who really like to hear the live music and whatnot going on, but there's still the fact that there's actors on stage that sort of distracts from the fact yeah. that whether you got a, an orchestra pit or a machine playing, yeah, just it's, a it's a lot or... easier to to have that not be the focus. Yeah. Whereas in a live setting, there's still somebody up there supposedly playing the music. Yeah. I I, I get your point about the uh, like the lip syncing and mm -hmm. auto tune and, and stuff like that uh, sort of detracting from that but there will I think in in the pop world or you know in, in most music performance world mm -hmm. let's not just throw it into pop let's you know keep yeah. everything there's going to be a certain element of good musicians still going out and and performing and there will always be an audience right. for that right so I'm not too worried about that mm -hmm. in the certainly the underground sense right there's also, um, if you look at, uh, I think it was last year at Coachella, they did that hologram of uh, Tupac. So that's, that's something that's like, that seems to be going that way as well. It, they could, that's a novelty thing to me. That's what I sort of well, see. Well, in Japan, there's a completely yes. digital uh, pop star who doesn't even exist. That's all she is, is a cartoon. And she yeah. goes out, they put a hologram up when, it, when there's a concert for her. So that... that it's That's happening in Japan. Um, whether it would go over well here, it might, uh, but not for a while, I don't think. I think in some circles it in would. Some circles in some it circles it would. They'd rather see real people play yeah. real music. Yeah. I, it, it's, so. it, it is a strange thing to think about that musicians... I mean, it, the world is always an evolving place. Mm-hmm. And change is inevitable. I try to embrace change as much as I can, but um, sometimes it, I, I kind of shake my head at things to, <laughs> and, and, and wonder what the, the reason is other than just to have something different. And sometimes that's reason enough, but um, sometimes it's not. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about the aspect of going to a live show to see a band sort of dying i that's like i said that's something i still enjoy uh that's something that i know a lot of uh, a lot of people that i know still enjoy yeah well like and i so, said there's even if it if it winds up being a small segment 
you, you can still get a crowd going with real musicians going on yeah. on stage. And yeah. I see it all the time. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, yeah, and there's something to be said about someone who writes their own songs and plays them live and, and, and things like that. That I don't think anything like that. It's like jazz. Jazz mm -hmm. was at one time the most popular music genre, and then it sort of died out, but it never really went away. There was always an, an exactly. audience for it. So I think it's going to be kind of like that. Um, it, it's, it's interesting. You know. It really depends on what... Okay, we can continue. Like at one point, jazz is the most popular music form uh, available, mm -hmm. and then another point, disco was the most yeah popular music at one point. Jazz continued on. Yeah, disco almost entirely died out. Yeah, and I think it sometimes has to do with the intention of the music. Well, the disco was mostly a novelty thing anyway. Mostly. So I know it did have underground roots. Yeah. Um, yeah. Going into the and some of that stuff could actually be kind of cool. Yeah, and I guess it's that stuff that's in that spirit did sort of continue on, but mm -hmm. very definitely in the underground. Yeah, sense. Yeah, but um, especially with its associations to funk and yeah, exactly. Uh, I can't even think all at, at the same yeah. time, but. Uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah, anyway, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys still go to see live bands? Do you think the world is shifting uh, away from that? Are you shifting away from that? Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you know when we post new videos. Uh, you can check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Follow John on Twitter at Funky Dutch. And you can check us out on our website, polyphonicpress.com. All those links are in the description. And that's about it. I'm Jeremy Boyd. I'm John Van Dyke. Take it easy.